tacos. We love them, and um, you shouldn't really deny yourself them either because uh, they're a great carrier for all sorts of foods and things like that. If you can get ones that um, most tacos are made about eighty five percent cornmeal, um, so they are um, a gluten free option. But they do contain a little bit of oil, and unfortunately, most of that oil will always be a seed oil. Um, you might be lucky and find some that aren't. But a tiny piece of seed oil isn't really going to do you that much harm. It's excessive consumption, bringing in all those omega-6s into your body. And if you're going to use this as a carrier for a pile of vegetables, you know, from onions, peppers, you know, salad, using lots of other good ingredients, that little bit of oil is going to make absolutely no difference to your diet. Um, again, I'm talking about myself here uh, primarily uh, because this is how I eat, this is what works for me, but um, I'm not going to deny myself something like a, a good, well-made taco, um, and because I love the things, and, the, um, and I find that they're a great option and they're a great carrier for some good ingredients. So I'm just going to get on with this. Oh, another thing is heating your tacos, you can do them under the grill, uh, pop them in the oven, but I find the air fryer is a very, very good option as well. Just to give them a quick blast in the air fryer, just to get them hot as well. Anyway, I want to cook so cooking tacos. First of all, coconut oil into pan. Next up, my onions. Pinch of salt. Lid and cook till it's soften and caramelized slightly. Having allowed a little bit of caramelization into the onions, add chili, ginger, garlic. A little black pepper. For a few seconds, then add peppers and celery. Yak. Also, add thawed out fava bean. Tablespoon of water. Cover and cook until soft. After about four minutes, check seasoning. A little drop more salt if necessary. And filling ready. Preheat taco shells, maybe air fryer or something like that, and fill with some salad and tomato. Finally, fill tacos with your hot mix. Serve down with maybe on the side. Some salsa and lime wedges.